The MBA, as you said, I mean, it started 20 years ago. We started offering the MBA in Spanish, where we had mainly a Spanish uh, population. We also had people from Latin America. Ten years ago, that was the real change when it became the international MBA. And we started offering the international and the English uh, group of the MBA together with the Spanish group. So this is the evolution from 20 years starting in Spanish, 10 years ago re redesigned totally and focused on, on, the, on the world, not only the Spanish world. And now uh, after a revision five years ago, this year we've been working heavily on, on really reposition the MBA of EADA. Latin America is a huge mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. Do you specialize in some countries or some industries? Yeah, well, in Latin America, as, as, you, as you say, is very huge. I mean, we are talking about six, 600 million people over, over there in 12 different countries. We sometimes tend to think of one Latin American country, but this is, this is totally wrong. Even we have two different languages, because in Brazil, uh, you don't speak Spanish. So in the areas or the countries where we are really uh, strong, I would say uh, is Colombia, Peru, Mexico and Brazil. Those are the countries where we uh, work and we have a lot of connections over there. Latin America may be booming. Mm. Spain definitely is not. Mm. Again, wouldn't it be better to spend more time really living in that emerging market or in one of those countries you mentioned than being in Spain where, where the economy is suffering? Yeah, I think uh, this is an interesting question no? about Spain. I mean, of course, Spain is a country that has, uh, has as, as many other countries, as uh, diversity within itself. I would say we are in Spain, yes, we are in a city like Barcelona. It could be as well in Madrid. Barcelona city is in, in good momentum. I mean, there, we last week we, had, we were hosting the Mobile World Congress. You know, we are the capital for the world in mobile. We, we had the CEO of Facebook and the CEO of WhatsApp right the day after it was announced that fa Facebook was acquiring uh, WhatsApp. But may so maybe things are happening here, in the city. Maybe they're coming here because mm. it's cheap. I mean, you can do a conference in, in Barcelona because if, if, if Spain is suffering, then the cost of conference facilities will be lower. I, I, I dare, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, when you look at the prices in a hotel last week, you see that the prices are very expensive. I mean, we're talking about a three-star hotel, six, 600 euros, and they just renewed the agreement and it's going to be here for uh, four other years. So in terms of, 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 of uh, cost of living, I mean, uh, it's not a cheap city, Barcelona. When I set up my own business, yeah. I probably need some help consultation, yeah. coaching. Does the school provide anything when I've left? Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, we, we, we saw this, uh, this trend uh, five years ago when we were giving, we were focusing too much, well, not too much, but probably too much at that time on career services. It's helping you to get a job, helping you to get a promotion. But then we realized some of our candidates were not using the service. And we were like, well, what's going on? Oh, what, where's the gap? And they were saying, we want to set up my own, I want to set up my own business and the career services is offering me a job in one of these nice consulting firms. And that was the right momentum to set up the Center for Entrepreneurship. Why structured finance? What's wrong with unstructured finance? <laughs> Interesting. You know, these are the kind of things that academics will tell you and will explain you. So I guess at the end of the day is an academic definition and it's a way of uh, proposing something that is appealing and is uh, interesting for the candidates. Global innovation management. Could you put any more buzzwords in the title of this course? Yeah, thank you for, uh, for, for saying that. I mean, it is true that at the end of the day, we, we need also to attract candidates. We need to, to show them that this is not going to be only a place where you will hear and, 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 and receive theoretical knowledge, but that you will be able to apply it and then also to promote and to, and to, and to sell yourself during and after the program. Is, there's a department called people management at IADA. Hmm. That, that caught my eye because it's different from most business schools. Do I get to manage people during my MBA? Are they guinea pig people for me to practice on, like a puppeteer? Well, we, uh, we think that the skills of managing people will be with you, I would say, even from the first day. The opportunity, the chance. We won't tell you, okay, you are the boss. 
or you are the leader or you are the coordinator of this group. This will be there, you know, the group will define, the group dynamics, you will be uh, in a stable team with people from different cultures, different countries, different experiences, and things will happen over there. So doing good means helping businesses that don't make a profit, or NGOs, or... No, basically, it is very important. I mean, even the objective in the social project, you need to make profit. You need to make profit, because if you do the whole show and you are not able to support this NGO or this project that is here uh, with us, you won't get the, 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 the final outcome.